The Falling Water is one of those most spectacular buildings that everyone wants to see and we have been blessed by Mac Welshman who has created this in-game to allow us to recreate this beautiful house alongside the cliff faces. Now this building does have its complications when it comes to placing down, it's not as easy as just dropping and leaving. So this tutorial here, working alongside Mac Welshman, should help give you some hints and tips on how to place this down and get the most out of this beautiful building. There's two main methods of how to place this. One is manual and one is using a export for move it. Let's start with the manual placement. First off, subscribe to the item on the workshop. Link is in the description below. Once you've done so, you should be able to search for this using find it and place it down on a slight incline of land. Next up, go back into find it and search for FW. These are terrain flatteners, which will help us morph the terrain and make things all fit together nicely. You'll need to place this down and then one tip we would suggest is using the picker option for move it to click on this item. This means that when you are trying to highlight just these items and moving it around, you won't get the building itself because the box is quite large. Using the page up and page down options, you can bring these boxes down to reveal the rest of the building. The layers on this particular building are quite complex but Matt Welshman has put together a little plan of how these should be implemented and we're going to go through those now one by one. So here is the layout of how these boxes should be placed. We're going to go through these now on camera and raise and lower them to the sufficient heights to reveal what we need to of the actual building. Unfortunately it's difficult to really do this like for like. You may have to twist and raise your particular boxes up to a certain height to get the same effects I'm getting. It all depends on what the terrain leveling is like that you're building this on. And obviously the angles and everything else in consideration does mean that this is purely just a guide and you may need to alternate your placement of these boxes, maybe adding a few more here and there to really help bring out the area. I would also highly recommend that you have open or have a look at the screenshots Mac Welshman took of this building once he detailed it because it gives you an idea on how the actual building should look in terms of the designer's eye. However, having said that, you could try your own implementation and change things up a little bit, maybe overlap certain areas that weren't overlapped on the screenshots and just have a play because there is no real right or wrong way of doing this. Once you're happy with the placement, next thing is to add in this road segment. This is just to get the level correct on the main entrance part and obviously the way that your sims will make their way to the building. You don't have to use this particular road, you can use a different road if you wanted. Once the road's down, you've got one more bit to do and that's just a bit of terrain leveling. So you can bring out the river here and why not for some extra detail use Mac Welshman's Network Rivers to really make this a realistic look. Do remember to power the building, otherwise the waterfall and the lights will not work. If however, you want a bit more of a simpler way of doing so, option two is a import from Move It. However, before you do so, please read these instructions very carefully and then we can proceed. Once you've done so, you can go into Move It and then if you click on the import option, select the falling water landscape full and click import and what this does is it imports a pre-assembled build that we pretty much have just done in the manual selection so you don't have to go through doing that yourself they're already placed in the correct locations all you need to do now is twist it and line it up with your terrain and you are good to go i hope this tutorial has been of some help to you big shout out and big thanks for mac welshman and i hope you all have fun placing down this beautiful asset thanks for watching and all the best.